I was only a freshman when I took AP Computer Science Principles. And as soon as I got there, there was this really overwhelming feeling because I noticed the classroom was so male dominated. Danielle Park, now a sophomore at Paramus High School, was also inspired to make the subject she loves more accessible for everyone. So at 15 years old, Danielle became an author. I decided that I'm going to create a book that's going to be gender neutral so that anyone with a passion to learn can just pick up my book and start at a very young age learning computer science. Park's self-published book on computer science fundamentals came out in April and is titled Under One Condition, an introduction to computer science principles and programming in Python. I really wanted to reflect what the high school curriculum is like in computer science so that students who get my book can really prepare for to excel in high school and really feel confident in their computer science abilities. For six months, Park spent a few hours every day on top of her coursework developing the book, which even included designing the graphics. But she did get an assist from her younger sister, Sophia. I did let her edit my book because I wanted a middle schooler's perspective <laughs> and she's so enthusiastic about it and I'm so excited to see what kind of change and impact she's going to make on the world in the future. The book retails for just $9.95 on Amazon. I created my book to be affordable, understandable, and something that's going to reach young girls at a really young age. So I did this by creating my program based on the curriculum of my book. And I also made my program free so that any girl in Bergen County can participate. Park founded a nonprofit called Bergen Code Hers, and through it will teach an eight-session summer boot camp based on the curriculum from her book. Just inspiring even one person and just helping one person along their journey means so much to me. As for Danielle's journey, which is only beginning, she somehow manages to find time to lead her school's STEM club and recently organized the first ever science fair. Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.